Ondo State is set to host the Global Entrepreneurship Festival, where thought leaders, innovators and entrepreneurs from various sectors across the globe will gather to celebrate entrepreneurial endeavors. The atmosphere here in Akure, the state capital, is already catching the festival's frenzy as the major roads leading to the venue, the International Culture and Event Center, the Dome, wear bright and colorful designs. Business owners in the state and along the route are already relishing the boost which the event will likely have on their sales. I'm always here from Monday to Sunday. Sometimes Sunday I will skip. And uh, of recent, we heard there's going to be a summit and it's going to be a global summit owned by Ondo State Government. I know it's going to add more values to our sales because a lot of people will be coming into Ondo State. The hotels are going to make sales. The market people are going to make sales because know how one or two things will be needed at the event. So I'm very happy for this event coming up. Oh, I know they're around. I mean the problem of that one. And before yesterday, I returned for my travel. So that's why they're here, but it's that they come, they see all these things. So if you come there, come check them. Whether you go applaud me for a walk. At the International Culture and Event Center, where no fewer than 300 investors are built to gather for insightful conversations, the facility is undergoing comprehensive renovation and upgrade. I want to make sure they don't block the speakers. Okay, okay. An assets management expert and chief executive officer of the Dome, Akinwo Mifalodu, conducted OSR crew to various buildings that will house the projected 20,000 attendees and some of the world's leaders in entrepreneurship. Everybody coming here will definitely be impressed with what we have in place. We have upgraded aesthetically. We've done making use of everything we have. There's going to be a concert on Sunday night, I believe, on the four courts. That is ready. The main hall, if you go in there, is wearing a very festive look. They'll be making use of the dome. I think they're having lunch there. They'll be making use of a massive parking spaces. We have a lounge that has been operating for about a year. They've been making use of that as well. We're running Helter Skelter, trying to get the nightclub ready. After this, we can go there. You'll see the amount of work going on. We're putting in about 100 million naira to get that nightclub ready for this event. The nightclub is not going to be launched until December, but we're trying to make it available to host the international visitors for this festival. Falodu, a trained engineer, explains that aside the ambience at the International Culture and Event Center, leaving an unforgettable experience for the visiting business leaders, staff strength have been increased with requisite training. We want to, at the end of the day, beat our chest and say we did it. And I'm sure we will do it. Anybody who has been to the Dome, in the last three years, we'll see the amount of work we've put in. You'll see the young ladies there were conducting training, getting them up to speed, letting them know what to expect and how to react to these international visitors. We will be ready. Whatever traffic, we'll be able to handle it. By the time the world comes and they see what potential there is in this state, I'm sure things will never be the same again. And we have to commend our government for even thinking up this initiative, bringing the world to Akure, showcasing the potential of this city. We are, in my mind, second only to Lagos in terms of facilities. We boast of more hotel rooms than even the battle. We have the airport. And we have the door. If all these three are properly utilized, and with the vast arable land we have, I don't see any reason why this state should depend on any federal allocation. So kudos to our government for coming up with this. Also evident within the International Culture and Event Center are young Nigerians putting finishing touches to their presentations for the festival, while others utilize their skills to create the world-class experience. We're going to represent the formidable coffee partner. So to give that exec you know, feeling to the whole uh, arrangement, the business sense, coffee is uh, something that 
you know, uh, should always be present. The Global Entrepreneurship Festival, tagged the world's biggest entrepreneurship festival, is slated from November 22 to 24, 2024 in Accra, Ondo State. The festival, themed Beyond Boundaries, Poverty Eradication Through Entrepreneurship, is projected to have in attendance early stage and renowned entrepreneurs, seasoned investors, tech innovators, global leaders, and policymakers. The event will feature networking sessions and opportunities to foster innovations and deepen investments in Ondo State. Sahira Ribisala, OSL News.